going through session in the last month now, Senator, but it's not just the work here in Jefferson City for you. There's still a lot of traveling throughout the district year round. You know, from January through May, I travel each week to the state capitol and work throughout the legislative session. But my job is also to represent those eight counties across the 33rd district. Just this past weekend, I had an opportunity to do a lot of traveling throughout the district and visit with some great folks. Last Saturday, started off, we toured part of the counties I serve in. One of the things that we did is we were able to be a part of some great work that's come together after many, many years of collaborative work. And that's a $2.5 million federal grant that's going to fund a new railroad overpass on on Highway 160, and this project will improve safety. It's going to allow continued growth, specifically for Leonardo DRS Land Systems, which is one of our major, major employers of the region. So, you know, I was thrilled to be a part of that, and I know that so many people work so hard. In addition to the Community Development Block Grant from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, other funding projects came from MoDOT, from the Delta Regional Authority, BSNF Railway, and obviously the City of West Plains. So, just an example of what you can do when we all get together to see what we can do to enhance our community. And then from West Plains, we traveled a little closer to where I live. We went to Ava, and we toured the newly constructed jail, the Douglas County Jail. And it is just an awesome facility if you ever have an opportunity to go in. Of course, clean, nice, but it's so efficiently designed. The 17,000-square-foot facility can house uh, about 56 inmates, and it was funded through passage of a half-cent sales tax. And that, again, is another example. I mean, the city of West Plains, the county uh, folks, the community all together came and supported that and passed that tax. Also, just a little shout out. Thanks to Sheriff DeGase. Our Sheriff DeGase there in Douglas County, anytime he opens the doors and hosts us in the facility, gives us an opportunity to learn more about the job that he does and just is a great communicator. And he's always available when I have questions about legislation, which I truly, truly appreciate. And I also would like to just talk about just a little bit more success that's going on across the district. Donovan was recently awarded three separate grants. This is down in Ripley County, and they received $118,000 grant that's going to fund a bank stabilization project along Quick Creek and another 129, which was going to fund the replacement of a pedestrian bridge over that creek. And the community also received a nearly, I think it's about $900,000 grant to pay for road widening, gutter work, culvert drainage. That flood really highlighted the fact that they had lots of work to do. And this, again, another example, when a community comes together and works, they're able to get some things taken care of. And a quick shout out to Ozark County Substance Abuse Task Force. This is a group that I've attended a few of their meetings. They're down in Ozark County and their school folks are there, Ministerial Alliance is there, your county chair department, your city police department, your health department, all these people come together and have been trying to put together a safety net to address the drug problem. They've been working pretty long on just getting a very simple nonprofit status under IRS called 501c3. And it was a big hallelujah day. That kind of opens the doors for them to be able to have more support in the future. In addition, you know, not only am I out and about in the district, And I think that's so important to do because obviously I have to know and understand what it is they need, what I can do to help solve problems, and also to be the cheerleader of great work. People come up and say hi to me. And I had a few visitors this week. It was my pleasure to welcome a number of visitors. We had Ripley County Presiding Commissioner Jesse Roy came up. We had a mayor from Ava, Burley Lofton was here, and Stan Lovin. And I'll let you know that Stan and Burley both are great dear friends of mine. And it's always such a pleasure to see students come to the Capitol. So we had the West Plains Ladies Zizzers basketball team who captured second place in class five this year and all but uh, I think two I think they've got two seniors so I expect to see them back up to the capitol next year we also had Janessa Foster she's a Houston high school senior and who is in the capitol and she was job shadowing right now this time of year we had snow yesterday there was like snow with also blossoms it was just gorgeous it's springtime and the exterior of the building is just absolutely gorgeous you know we've done huge undertaking of uh, renovation just want to invite everybody up to see our beautiful capitol would love to see you